Good, how are you? Fine. Pennies today? Uh, no, actually, I just wanted to um, say thank you for, um, you know, ordering boxes for, uh, you know, throughout the past uh, year. Um, Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Quince Coins. So today is Thursday, April 26th. Uh, I just finished up my last final exam yesterday, and I am going to be moving out of this apartment tomorrow. So I have to get everything ready here. Basically, what I'm going to do today is just show you around the place because this is the last day here, and it's a little bit sentimental. So I wanted to give you a little uh, tour of the place that I've been living for the past year. Why don't we go ahead and get started? So this is probably the view that you're used to seeing. This is uh, the way that my camera points when I'm filming my Quince Coins videos. And here is the setup right here. There's the camera. My lighting situation, as you can see, is just two lamps. It's not nothing fancy at all. Uh, here's all the CoinQuest stuff. These tubes are filled with pennies that uh, I've been finding in the CoinQuest series. There's some more stuff back there that uh, needs to be sorted out. Um, and then up here I have my coin collection. So this is all of my uh, coin collections that I carry around. Um, there's not much going on in those. Um, I have the Jefferson Nickel book actually ready to go for the Nichols Coin Quest series. So there's a little sneak peek uh, for that. Should be coming out pretty soon here. Um, and then, so like I said, we have the camera, uh, the lighting. This is where my computer usually sits. This is a plank of wood that uh, goes back. There's a story behind that, but we're not going to get into that today. Um, and then moving on, so here is the dresser. Quite a mess, I know. I have a little mirror here. I don't use that a whole lot, though. Um, and then over here is the closet and all that stuff, which needs to go into boxes uh, today at some point. A um, bunch of different gear here. There's my metal detector back there. Unfortunately, it hasn't seen uh, hardly any action this year, which is unfortunate. I might be able to get the chance to go out and use that today, but I can't be for sure. Uh, it depends on how packing goes. Uh, power drill back there. <laughs> haven't used that a whole lot, but uh, it's back there in case I need to. Uh, here's some weights, which I really should have used more. I uh, definitely didn't get that in enough. Oh, here's a really good book. In case you're looking for something to read, uh, definitely highly recommend it. Absolutely great book. I, I usually read like about a book a year, and uh, I think last year I read that one. Really great book. Always reference it and uh, listen to it on audiobook as well. And then there's the bed, and that is pretty much it. There's really not a whole lot. Uh, going on in the room. So there's actually quite a few things that I want to get done today So I'm actually gonna bring you along with me while we do that So why don't we go ahead and get out of here? So before I go I figured I may as well show you the rest of the apartment So why don't we go ahead and take a look at the rest of the rooms? It really won't take that long guys because it's not a very big place. So right there is the bathroom uh, Here's my roommate's room right there And then we move into the commons area and this is pretty much the entire thing uh, Just a little entertainment system table to sit down and uh, do work. There's my computer right there. Cereal. And then over here is the kitchen. So that is pretty much the entire place right there. As you can hear, there's always noise going on here. So I basically have to wait for the appliances to shut off before I can film because you always have this buzzing noise coming from the fridge, uh, stuff coming from the bathroom as well. And why don't we go ahead and step outside here for a second. I'll tell you what guys, it is nice living here. I, I love this place and it's a great location to metal detect. This is my backyard right here. We have a basketball hoop uh, set up right there and I use that from time to time. It wakes me up all the time though people are playing basketball out here. Um, but it's a really great place and uh, I am definitely going to miss it. Hopefully going to be able to come back up here and do some metal detecting like out in this area. Um, there's, you know, this place has been around for I think 50 or 60 years now. So uh, there's definitely a lot of history out here and uh, waiting to be discovered. But uh, that's basically the tour, so why don't we go ahead and get the day going. All right, so I just finished up breakfast. It was good. And uh, I'm headed down to the commons now. I have a couple of things to do. Number one, I have like $100 in store credit at this uh, convenience store. So I'm gonna basically just load up on $100 worth of convenience store junk food or something like that. Uh, I think they might have batteries or something that I could definitely use in my metal detector. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna get $100 worth of that stuff. And then the second thing I gotta do is uh, get into my bank and thank the tellers for letting me get boxes of coins week after week for the past like two years. Um, so those are the two things I got to do. Let's go ahead and do them. Hi. Good, how are you? Fine. Pennies today? Uh, no, actually, I just wanted to um, say thank you for, um, you know, ordering boxes for, uh, you know, throughout the past uh, year. Um, I'm going to be moving down south uh, soon, so basically I'm not going to be uh, up mm -hmm. here anymore. So just wanted to say thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I know you don't have to, and uh, so just, you know. Thanks. So. Happy to. Yeah. And uh, thank you for tolerating my 
dumping at the uh, other bank as well. I always was, was uh, dumping uh, pennies up there. I know you probably noticed that um, oh, on the coin machines. Oh, no, that's perfectly fine. We're happy to help where we can. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's just a little hobby I do, so you know, I appreciate you um, supporting that. So thank oh, you. Oh, you're most welcome. Yeah, yeah our All right. pleasure. You guys have yeah. a good day. Yeah, you too. All right, guys, so I just got home from those few errands that I had to run. So basically what you just saw, there was an interaction between myself and a couple of the bank tellers that uh, I communicate with regularly. Um, one of them is regularly at that location, and the other one is actually usually stationed at the uh, bank that I use to dump my coins at. So it was kind of interesting to have them both in the same place. I just wanted to explain this a little bit, though, because uh, I know there might be a little bit of confusion. You're not supposed to dump your coins at the same bank that you get them from. Basically, what I do is I pick up my coins at one branch of this same bank, and then I dump them at a different branch. Uh, so it was just kind of weird to have them both in the same location. But basically, what you just saw there was me uh, thanking them for you know putting up with my sh with my coin roll hunting shenanigans i've been ordering penny boxes every single week for the past like six months so um it was definitely you know i, I felt like i should i owed them a little bit of uh, gratitude um especially the, to the one who had to put up with me um dumping coins week after week so that's basically what you saw there um and now i'm going to show you what i got for a hundred dollars at a convenience store uh with the credit that i had to use before it uh it was used up all right let's take a look so like i said i had a hundred dollars in store credit which i had to use otherwise it was going to expire within the next couple of days uh, so here's basically what I got. I had to use it at one particular convenience store. It was the only place that would take it. So here's what I got for a hundred dollars. Take a look. So luckily I was able to get by not having to buy any food. Uh, they had some accessories there. So basically what I did is I picked up a bunch of double A's. Uh, I got I think two nine volts. The other ones around here somewhere. There it is. So I got two nine volts, two packs of double A's, a pair of gloves, a nice uh, knit hat here, which is pretty cool. Um, these are both, you know, Michigan related stuff. Uh, I got a pair of headphones, which I'm using right now. My my uh, old pair actually broke. Uh, I got this uh, thing of note cards, which I used to study. And I just threw some uh, some gum in there to top it off. So that's what I got for $100. It doesn't look like much, but these batteries are pretty expensive. And then the uh, these things are kind of expensive as well. I think this was like 25 bucks. But, you know, if I don't use it, it's not going to get, it's going to expire. And it's just dead money. So may as well use it while I have it. Uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with that stuff, though. I definitely needed those headphones. And uh, these go into uh, the probe that I use in my metal detector. They also go into the microphone on this camera. So definitely good to get some of those. And then these are actually what fuel uh, the entire metal detector. So I uh, got all that stuff ready. Hopefully we have a good season of metal detecting ahead of us. I'm not sure if I'm going to get out as much as I'd like to, but uh, what I do know is that I am going to get out there right now, hopefully for a couple hours. Um, it'll be like the first, I think it's going to be the first hunt of the year for me. So why don't we go ahead and get out there and see what we can find. All right, guys, here we are. It is about 4.30. Uh, I took a little nap before we decided to go out detecting. Uh, I've dug like three holes. I think I got a quarter dime and a penny, but I just got down I sort of missed on this plug and uh, sort of started digging into the side wall And I think we might have something silver. I'm just like f like steps outside of my apartment. Check this out Look at that. Does that look silver or what? I don't know what it is though, but it's got some fancy design on it. I'm gonna get the shovel and uh, Give it a little pry. Hopefully we can get it out of there without messing it up. I'm just going to try to get under it just a little bit, so give me a sec, guys. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Fancy design. This looks like it's going to be silver, guys. Oh, guys, look at that. I'm just steps outside. I thought this was going to be a dime, just a clad dime is what it sounded like. That's a pendant. Look at that. Actually, no, it looks like it's an earring. Wow, that's a big chunk of silver, guys. Holy crap, it's been a long time since I found silver out of here. <sighs> I guess we got lucky today. Literally probably the fifth hole that I've dug so far. I've only got a couple of clad coins so far, but that's got to be silver. It may just be plated. I, I guess I don't really know for sure, but it looks like it's going to be better than that. Man, all right, I'm gonna get that cleaned up and show you a little better view. All right, guys, this just made my day. Take a look at this. I just got it cleaned up. Right there on the bottom, you can see it says sterling. And up there on top, it says 925. So we have 925 sterling silver right there, guys. Fifth hole that I dug. We have a nice silver earring. It's probably from the 70s or 80s. Someone lost this. 
coins I've been pulling out of here have been from the from around that time period, but uh, who knows? There's been tons of people living in this area, so that is so awesome. I was a little hesitant at first. I thought it was maybe going to be plated. You can see probably why there, but um, turns out it's Sterling 925, the best kind. All right, let's keep going, see if we can get some more. All right, it's been about an hour now. I decided to move off the beaten track a little bit over to this bench that uh, nobody uses apparently, but uh, maybe this was used more in the past. I was hoping to find some older coins over this way. And uh, I think I just got myself a, a spill here. Actually, it looks like there's quite a, quite a few coins in there. So we'll see what we got here. Okay, wow. So we have a, a quarter, a dime right there, and then it looks like we have another dime right there so that's uh is that another one right there oh that's another one i thought that was just the imprint of uh the first dime this sounded like a quarter altogether so there you go three dimes and a quarter i think this quarter is a state quarter actually so it's actually not very old at all that's a yeah it's a south carolina right there so nothing too old here uh, i'm gonna grab my probe real quick and check the hole once more just to see if we missed any there might even be some up in the plug so we gotta check that as well but uh, no, it doesn't sound like there's anything else in there, but there it is, uh, that is 55 cents right there. JD, if this was a Digger Die series, I think you'd, uh, you'd have some food there, 55 cents. All right, let's keep, uh, let's keep digging. Hopefully we find some more silver soon. I'm looking for a silver dime today. All right, guys, you're not gonna believe this. I just uh, grabbed the detector, picked it up, and rechecked the hole again. I was searching in this area with the probe. I guess my probe's not that great. Um, there was a bunch more coins back here in this corner area. I just pulled out two more quarters and a nickel, so that brings the total of, of uh, coins on that uh, hole up to 110. Sorry, guys, I'm thinking in coin raw hunting terms here. Uh, it's been a long time since I got out and metal detected, but that was three quarters in that hole, three dimes, and a nickel not a single penny though so i rechecked the hole there is nothing left that is the final but uh that's one of the largest coin spills i've ever found so that's pretty cool all right we're gonna keep looking around here see what else we can get so the first metal detecting trip of the season was a success we got a whole bunch of coins here actually totaling six quarters and uh, five dimes there so we are over two bucks in coins and only for two hours that's pretty good but then of course the uh, best find of the day was that sterling silver earring and as you can see there it's actually uh, very ornate very nice it is a 925 sterling i'll try to get a close-up of that uh, but you probably won't be able to see that it does have sterling and 925 marked on it uh, i have my gram scale here i'm going to go ahead and put it on the scale and uh, see what we have on a weight uh, for that so about 2.4 grams of silver right there assuming that the whole piece that uh, holds the earring up is also silver uh, i'm pretty sure it is though but uh, that is really cool guys it only, it only took me like five minutes and then the next hour and a half um, i spent looking for the pair but uh, it did not come up unfortunately but all in all that was a really good hunt and uh, hopefully gonna get to out and do some more um, in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. Uh, starting next week, we're going to be back on our regular schedule. We're going to have coin quest and uh, competition hunts, all that good stuff coming up next week. So definitely stay around for that. Like I said, I am just now finishing up the semester here at college, getting moved out and uh, into the new place. So it's going to take a little while to get settled. But once we do, we're going to be back on our regular schedule and I'm going to be pumping those videos out so you guys can enjoy them. That being said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'm Quinn and this is Quinn's Coins signing out and I will see you in the next one.